guys, what is up? And we are back with round number finals. Actually, you need to change that real quick. My bad. We are back with the finals. And we have a doozy. We have Zach LaFlame on the left. But SS3 Goku versus Eon Hill on the right. Playing SS3 Goku. We have the mirror. And two powerhouse players here. Let's see who takes it home live here in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. So we're going to do real quick, guys, while these two players are playing out. We're going to take a look at their life cam and see what they got going on in their life. We have Zach Laflame playing Blue Red SS3 Goku with uh, Scientist Fu, Zeno, and Chantak. It's actually a pretty big deal that he has the Chantaks and Zeno in his life. Uh, can be devastating going forward. And then Eon Hill having uh, some pretty decent cards in life, but nothing that's going to be too devastating uh, for his play. So we're going to shoot back over to the gameplay, guys, and see what's going to happen in this matchup. Guys, we're popping off chat. If you guys have any any questions, let me know at Pro Play Games Live in the chat, and we'll do our best to answer your question as soon as possible. Can we flip a coin? <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. All right, Eon attacking 10,000 into 10,000. We're going to get the life right. It's four to four as far as the life goes. All right, Zach's going to awaken, draw two cards. Okay, he's going to take a card here, put it in his hand, which appears to be a flute. Good card here. I guess he's out to protect his Gotens from Zach's pressure if needed. Again, in this matchup, the player who has the most Gotens is going to be that farthest ahead. And right now, Eon having two Gotens out is huge. Taking some time. Using a Piccolo Super Combo to put 28,000 power with their pressure to Zach right here. And actually, what's really cool about this uh, matchup is Zach dealing damage to Eon actually hurts his aggression, while Eon dealing um, damage to Zach hurts his Zeno. And so damage to each other, hurt each other in a different way, which is pretty cool. Eon not wanting to take too much early damage, so he can still play his Bardox out and use it to swap into um, these aggressive uh, creatures or battle cards to gain the card advantage. Where Zach not wanting to take early damage because he doesn't he wants Zeno to be worth more. Once he Zenos, he wants more life than his opponent, which is pretty cool. Okay, here Eon going in big time, 15, 25, 35, 45, wanting to hit Zach to two life. So bad. This is 15, 25, 35, 45. This goes up to 50. Going up to 55 double strike. Wanting to knock Zach to two. So bad. And Zach's just going to take it. Say, I'm not going to fight through that. It's going to go to two life. All right. 
Gonna use Successor of Hope to gain a Bardock and a Grandpa Gohan from his deck. He's gonna pass to his opponent, four to two. Eon off to a pretty commanding lead, having more Gotens, more Goten swings. Though Zach is playing blue red, does not have access to Goten, but that's okay. Zach just needs to play damage control here, deal with the Gotens, and not let Eon get card advantage from these Gotens. The first Goten swings just replace themselves. The second and third swings get you very far ahead. So Zach just needs to find a way to manage Eon's hand advantage and his board advantage here. Which he tends to do with Zeno. So 15k into 10k. And Eon is going to flying Nimbus, shutting down Zach's aggression here. Making it so he can only attack one more time. Not too big of a deal of Zach. Again, remember, his early game threats are usually just used to awaken himself, and then he just takes the game over with Zeno. So this isn't something necessarily that Zach's gonna be too upset with, and it's just gonna pass back to Eon. Here's the second attack. Gets the gaining card off this attack. See what he gets a trunks off that attack. It's going to let him extend this to play quite a bit. See what Eon decides to play here. Scientist Fu would be good. Zach has access to that Sensu Bean, though, knocking him up to 20k and going to make it even more difficult for Eon to break through this next two life. We've got our special guest commentary back finally. Sorry, guys. I have to say hi to everybody. Absolutely. What happened? See, this is a this is a problem. Look at how life is already. You know, forget this game. <laughs> what is it? Three to two. Is he playing faster this time? <laughs> <laughs> Eon playing uh, very well. This match. Who went first? Curiosity. Um, actually, I'm not sure he went first. I was doing the um, life cams at the beginning. I'm not sure actually who took off first. Okay. I think it was Zach. I'm pretty sure Zach went first. Zach went first. I'm pretty and sure. They're both SS3s. Uh huh. Nah, that wouldn't make sense because they both have three energies. Oh no, yeah, exactly. We wouldn't know. Oh right. uh, no, yeah, he went first because the twin is at three too. Mm -hmm. And it's oh my heart. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. So yellow blue versus actually this is blue another red. this is another hard match for uh, uh, the twin because once they Zeno, they get gas, but they uh, the blue yellow deck gets nothing but five k. It's literally just five k's. While they get Go Tank or Gohan that draws them two cards, their deck is not designed. Their deck is designed to get a huge hand advantage and beat them down down like that. But if you were able to Zeno um, the yellow blue, you're totally fine. You don't have to worry after that. Okay. So I, I really believe it's in Zach's favor. Which, again, this match doesn't matter for the twin, but it matters for Zach. Zach has to win this. Or draw. He can draw, but then the t no, twin would be fine with a draw, too. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, I was trying to spend a little bit at the beginning before you got here. Was What's really cool about this matchup is kind of how it plays out, where it's, you know, Eon... Um, doesn't want to take early damage because it makes his Bardock's bad. It makes you know his swap mechanics worse. It mm -hmm. lets it hurts his aggression. And Zach also doesn't want to take early damage because it makes his Zeno worse. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the, the the less life he has when he Zeno's, the less of advantage he's given up. So it's kind of a cool mechanic where they're both kind of doing the same thing but in a different way. And I think it's really neat. What what is this? That uh, someone's banned from ARG? Another one's banned? Oh wait, is this? Is that the Zach guy? Yeah, that? Zach Laflame. Huh? I've never, I've never seen him face to face. I've only seen pictures of him. I'll be okay. right back. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Peter, let's take a look at uh, Zach Laflame. Apparently, he's never seen him before. Eon trying to put some pressure on Zach here. Two to two life right now. Trying to put some pressure on him. Trying to finish this game before Zach has the ability to Zeno. He's going to swap right here into another Goten attack. 
10K and a 15K, or say 10K and a 20K. And Zach's going to snap negate that. You know, he's going to look at the top three, see what he decides to get. Yeah, he looks different from his picture, but yeah, he is bad. How long has it been? His thing was like a month or something. Was it a month? I don't know. I, I believe so, because it was I, I, nothing I, but like a Facebook post. Yeah, yeah, I know he got banned, but I, I thought it was just like one event. I didn't realize it was like a, a thing. Yeah, well, I didn't think it was a big deal. No, he just looked different. Would you like a gummy bear? I would like it. I would love a gummy bear. These are the tiniest little gummy bears. The tiniest things. I'm going to try to take one, but I got two on accident, so. That's no biggie. I'm trying to get a six-pack anyways. Okay, here's the game ender. Neon's trying to finish the game right here with this Mass Sam. Two to two. Jeez, triple sensu beam. It looks like a lot, but it's not. It's one, two, three. It's 30, so 50 in total. It's 25, right? Mass Sam's 25? No, right? it's 20. It's 20? So 20, 50. 30. 40-50. But he's still going. Oh, now it's hard. 60. 5. Why? But I don't understand why it took so long to think about that. If you already committed this much... What, what are you doing? You saving him for next turn? Well, because he could actually, if he wanted to, he could play out the one drop Bardock, ne like go to one life, mm -hmm. and then combo with the Bardock ape, and then turn into an ape. But you know he has no plan in Vegeta, and at that point, you just want to play the 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 Bardock so it can evolve into that, and then swing for twenty. I mean, me personally, I, don't, I mean, I think you should take all the time you need to think about these plays. This I is for the finals. Why is taking so long on Sunday. Oh boy, if you don't got super combo, why'd you take so long? The scoop. He's going to. All right. Yeah, but. Eon taking that game? I mean, Eon, I, like I said, high caliber player. Went undefeated in San Jose. What, you know, undefeated here as well. Guys can complain about him taking long all you want, but the results speak for themselves, guys. Take your time. Think about these plays. It's much better to take time and think about the plays, not make embarrassing misplays than it is to, you know, try to go too quick and make misplays. Especially in the finals of an event. That makes you a good commentator. I like that. That's positive thinking. That's the finest. I don't know how much positive thinking that is, Mr. Peter Katana. No, that's positive. I think it's just facts. And facts. Yes. Okay, that, that's that's the right way to say it. Definitely facts. Because there's no doubt he was strong. Um, but two cards, you can understand where the debate is of him taking long with two cards, but you're right. My favorite thing about the twin, and I have never played him, that's the saddest thing. Um, he sings in his games. And when I walk by and I hear him sing, I'm like, damn, I wish I was playing him. I'll sing along with him. Yeah, he's a, uh, they're definitely musicians. They're, like I said, very intelligent people. They're both in uh, in pre-med, going, wow. in, going into med school. Yeah, very intelligent people. That's where that analytical thinking comes in, I'm sure. You ever been to a doctor's office? Doesn't take that, you know, don't get in there real quick. I don't have insurance, so no. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I've learned so much about you and commentating with you. You've never driven in a car with a girl, ever, and you've never been to a doctor's office in your entire life. I don't understand. Some things you take for granted, I guess. I got stories for days. <laughs> oh, good lord. Guys, we are going into the second match. Eon up 1-0 against Zach Laflame.
So what do you think about this event, Peter? Did you well, learn anything? Yeah, no. I, um, this is the last event in this format, right? Like, that, And that's exci exciting, but the problem is when we say this format, all that means is, like, yes, we get new cards, but we're probably still seeing these two decks. And that's the sad part about it. The, these decks are too strong, and everything in the new set does not look like it competes to this. So, but as a commentator with positive thinking, of course, I forgot. Um, yeah, no, the, the format looks awesome next set. But you know what I mean by that, though, right? Right. Like, if you were to think about the announcer, as exciting as it is to play that deck, how does the announcer deck compete to this when it comes to speed? Right. That, the Tournament of Power um, set is, like, set one and two. Slow, fun, Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Super excited for it. I'm not taking that away. All right. But when it comes to competitiveness, what does it offer? What card did you see? Like, oh, man, that card is going to be broken. The pan, the one drop pan. Okay. Yeah, the, awesome. the, the blue. Which the blue. This deck can use. Right, right. Isn't I mean, that sad? No, I mean, I, I, I'm saying that, you know, the pan was one. So now you're putting mono blue with speed. <laughs> oh, is that what we're doing? Uh, okay, so here we go. Zach LaFlame's life. Taking a quick look at this right now. Uh, nothing bad in his life as far as him getting bad callers. Same thing with Eon. Though we do see two Zenos in his life. This deck usually only runs three, correct? Yes. So it could be, you know, in a situation where he doesn't get one of these Zenos, though. The position they're in in his life makes me think that he'll get one. In fact, there's one in life. So, uh-oh, if he goes left to right and then goes back left to right again, he may not get the second Zeno since one is an energy. I'm super interested in seeing the negate in action. The red negate. Uh-huh. Because uh, one of the best plays uh, when you're playing, like, SS3 red-blue is Logic. Uh, bodyguard Logic, is that yeah. what it's called? Uh, yeah, I think Legic. Legic, sorry. Yeah. Uh, bodyguard Legic. You play it, and you also can swing, um, a fluid back, bring it again, swing, whatever the case. But let's say you swing, and then you negate to untap, and now your negate became two negates. That's a huge thing. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Here, Eon off to another speedy start, getting his Gotens out. Like I said, this matchup's uh, at the beginning is all about Eon's Gotens. If he can get a lot out and keep them out, it's going to be hard for Zach to recover. However, if Zach can take care of the Gotens before his Eon gets too much card advantage off of it, it's going to put Zach into a much better position. No, and the sad part is Zach went first last game too and still lost. Yeah, now do you think in this matchup whoever goes first is favored? No, I just thought he had enough time to do Zeno, but he lost in three, uh, three sure. energy. He never got to Zeno. I don't know if he was taking life wrong and stuff, like in the sense of like accepting hits that he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have, have a, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I wasn't fully paying attention to that part, but that's a big deal. So you're saying it's similar to Android's matchup in that in that regard, where if you go first, you have more time to get to your, you know, big card that you're wanting to take uh, over the game. It's not as as much because uh, Android literally puts you at three, three lines cards. or three cards <laughs> and sometimes then four. two. Sure. Yeah, it's it's one of those things like it destroys your hand. Zeno evens both of you guys out. Okay. So it's not as huge, and I do believe uh, the twin sides in Mecha. Yeah, he does. He yeah. does side in Mecca. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, I don't know that for sure, but I'm, he did ask me if I brought Mechas with me. Um, so that, that's probably a good indication that he might have been yeah. looking for them. Yeah, because um, I, I believe when looking at his table, I saw him play Mecha once. So, yeah, two on the board. So what's Mecha um, for, you think? Like, is it just to uh, come you back You can send on your turn. Instead of your opponent having the surprise factor and starting over, you get the advantage. How so? What do you mean? Because, okay, so let's say you play four for Mecha and you grab their Zeno and play and you restart the board. Um, the Zeno is on your oh, board. Oh, that mecha. Yeah. I see oh, what you're which saying. Mecha were you grabbing? I thought you meant like the set one mecha that had like the dual attack and kills two on oh, tap no, no, thing. No, no. I'm talking you're talking about, about the, the one that the looks promo like a promo. One. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, that's the only mecha in my eyes. But yeah, you're right. That no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, so when you Zeno on your turn and you get to set up and like build and swing with your leader, you have more advantage than your opponent. You took away what yeah, they were doing. Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Yeah. 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 You, you yeah. take away what they were trying to do. So that's another thing that like maybe he sides into. So he's essentially using their Zeno against them. Yeah, that's cool. And you can do plays because most people don't expect it. You're a yellow blue. So let's say he swings with leader, combos like his whole hand other than the mecha. Um, okay, cool. I'm definitely going to take this. All right. Now I'm going to do this. Oh, but at that point, like, if they didn't have the Zeno, uh oh. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> Can you choose nothing with the card? Yeah, you can choose nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to awaken here at four life. Both players sitting at four life.
That's an interesting uh, suggestion that players are making right now is do you tie, like, any card that takes a card from your life, mm -hmm. do you tie a keyword to it, like, super combo? Like, you would tie, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, deadly or something, and then you can only have four cards with deadly in your deck or you can only have eight cards with deadly in your deck. Would that be oh. something that might slow the format down and make it a little bit more kind of uh, targeted? Yes and no. Um, yes, it's really interesting. So, like, you have to choose between Kaba and... Um, Kaba and Trunks. You and can have both. Or, or, or Digging Deep. All those things. Yeah. Deadly. I understand what you're saying about yeah, that. Yeah. But Bardock is searchable with the stupid mechanic of swapping by his health. So sure. one Deadly oh, I see is all saying. four. I see what you're saying. Sure, you sure. get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And that's the problem. So it'd be like unbreakable in that sense where it's a super combo, yeah. but it's not really a super combo. So, yeah. Right yeah. so like all the other colors have a problem, but Bardock and the mechanic that he has, he's free. One Deadly is the equivalent of four. Sure. Oh, huh. yeah. It's a great idea, though. But that one part. Honestly, Barda, Goku Lineage. I mean, I would be interested to see what health health gain does to this game. If they ever put health gain in this game, would that slow the format out enough or someone hits you and you're like... I was like, surprised Piccolo wasn't that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, Two me too. Piccolos came out and none of them healed? And, it, and it's, it's something people have been talking about since set one, so I'm surprised Bandai hasn't been like, oh, that's something people want. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I don't know if they're just waiting till you know, like that gimmick set comes around or whatever, but... Yeah, I mean, healing could be something that might extend the life. Like, similar to Zamasu, you know, he extends the game just by what he does. Yeah. And that might slow these kind of decks down. You know, it's like, I hit you for two. It's like, cool, I heal for two. And it's like, okay. So I did nothing in my turn. Cool. I just made you draw two cards. You know, maybe it's too good. I don't know. But Krillin's going to be OP. He better not be OP. I hate Krillin. No, this, this is not Pansy. They don't make bad, bad characters good. Why does the Sensu being healed? Yeah, that's a good question. It, theoretically, it does. <laughs> yeah, I guess it heals through energy. I mean, I think that's maybe... I think in this game, they see your energy as, like, your, like I guess, life in a way. Like, So, like, whenever you, you untap energy, you're essentially healing in their eyes, if that makes sense. I don't... Because in the energy... I mean, in the show, that's what happens. Like, you yeah. run energy or whatever. Here's another... Bardock. Need healing. Take part from your deck. Um, Puerto Rico needs you, PPG. Well, definitely. I mean, guys, always feel free to reach out to George and PPG team. I know they'll be more than happy to. No, they, they actually have a lot of Puerto Rican. Uh, yeah. Puerto Rico has reached out to us to, like, see if we're going to their events and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, they have at least 150 people in their events. Like, I've talked to a few of them. Yeah. And there, there's a turnout there. No, every time I go to an event and anybody from Puerto Rico comes up to me, they always tell me how they watch my content in Puerto Rico. They watch all of our events. They, yeah, no, they just, great people. They, yeah, they're yeah. Fanta fantastic. Why are yeah. you taking my word? Huh? Why are you taking my word? Fantastic. Fantastic's my word. Oh, is it? I've been using fantastic for quite some time. It's, it's, I think fantastic and amazing. I just kind of cycle between those two words and try to stagger them so it doesn't sound like I'm using them as much as I am. But it's oh, That's why I switched. I started and saying very, I say very powerful a lot, too. Like if, it's like kind of my default word where I'm like, I don't know what to say. I'm just like, that was very, very powerful. powerful. Yeah, <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I say that quite often. No, but a, a thing about Puerto Rico, um, the, the amount of money it would take to bring the inventory, that's where it becomes cost efficient. Because anything in U.S. we can drive to. And yeah, driving takes some things, but driving is not as bad as flying out the product that we need to have events at you know, other places outside of U.S., so that's something that uh, I have talked to George about it a few times. Oh, already. cool, cool. Yeah. You can say Dusty and Peter are gonna fight. My body is on Dusty. You would lose that money. I'm not sure if you've seen this man. I'm old. I'm feeble. Oh, very powerful, fantastic. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a feeble old man. Uh, I'm know. his elder. You're not old. I think you're I'm five like years almost, different. I'm 30, almost 33. Yeah, five years different. We five years different. Like, I'm, like your, four I'm, years essentially, I'm essentially your dad. You're four years different than me. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm right there to get close to you. How dare you talk back to me. <laughs> nice. Science is food coming down here. Zach LaFlame at four life. Eon Hill at three. Now, I don't I don't know his hand, but he's a turn away from the Zeno play. Yep. I think he can do it. Because he just flew two more cards in hand. No grave, which is huge too. Because when you uh, Zeno and they have no grave, it's like, oh, even if they drew the fool, they're, they're not getting out of it. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So you want to defend this. You want to protect your life. Because he's at three. That's a big deal. Oh, my God. Oh, I messed up. Z Zach's actually way. at four. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. 
Three to four. This is a big deal, for sure. Topo coming down. Oh, I love to Topo play in the Zeno, too, because then you get to shuffle Topo back. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. It's almost like a free negate. Topo's killing stuff. Topo's pretty good, as it turns He's out. He's going to kill everything. Topo's pretty good, as it turns out. You have pure F4. Oh, that's funny. Jan's still trying to put some pressure on Zach, though. Four life is doable. Especially with the small novel in his hand. Go play Grandpa Gohan with this one energy. Gonna swap into something here. We'll see what he decides for it to be. And actually nothing. He's just gonna <laughs> use that to block. I like this play. He can use it to block the Topo. Which will protect him from taking a little too much damage, possibly. No, there's no blocking the Topo. That's a good point, because it just ready. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there's no blocking that. All you can do is negate it. All right, let's do the professional play. Swing at everything. We're going to kill all of them. Swinging at... They went Topo pretty good against this board. I'm going to be honest no, with you. No, no, no. Topo's amazing against Lineage. He is. Oh, what are you doing? No, no. That must mean he doesn't have it. He must not what, have the. Why does he not have it? Well, I mean, we saw it. He still has Zeno in life. No. He has Zeno in energy, Zeno in life. I'm sure the deck only runs three. Yeah, but he had two, so that means he saw it. Oh, he got it off the. Oh, oh yeah, he no, the, he yeah, never yeah, got yeah, it yeah, again. Yeah, I get right. what you mean. Yep. Oh, man. Is that what happened? I think so. If we go to the life cam real quick, guys, we'll see what we're talking about here. Zach with Flame has a Zeno in life, and the Zeno is his last card in his in his energy. If he in his life, if he takes the the life the same way he has been, meaning that he only has one Zeno left probably in, in the deck. deck. Yeah, yeah, and he probably just doesn't have it. Meanwhile, Eon having um, actually three, I mean, two very good cards in his life. One not so good. Um, so successor being okay, and but a super combo in sense of being very paramount to his strategy going forward here. He's using hit right now, so he's looking at his hand. Yeah. Able to calculate how much uh, how much he can remove this board, which is a big deal. That is true. Now, I don't see a negate in his hand. Yeah, he has Nimbus. He has Nimbus? Yeah, no, yeah. he doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's it's like this card right here, I think. No, no, relax. Yeah, right there. Boom. Uh, it probably was. <laughs> Looked like a stick. <laughs> Looked like a stick. I look for the clouds. That's Take a yeah. Is it Nimbus? Yeah, last yeah, card. Is. Yeah, definitely. It was far. That's a shame. That that's Topo was going to go in. That Topo was going to be a hero. Yeah. The hero that, that uh, Zach needed, maybe. Because, like, he could have got rid of Master Roshi, but there's no point. So what he did was get rid of his next, like, threats of the play. Um, I know one was the monkey. What was the other card he hit off it? Uh, monkey, it looked like Bardock. No, nah, it wasn't the one drop Bardock. Was it not? Okay. It was the monkey and something else. It was something foil. That's the only thing I know. Something pretty, yeah. <laughs> something beautiful. I want to say it was a good card. Yeah, I mean, it was foil. Like, it was sparkly. That what are you it's a doing? Good what do you mean? Why did he not swing? You, wait, what? Oh, is that what we're doing? Lightning fast hit? But even then. Ooh, you, you think lightning fast hit here? Yeah, but even then, he's at three. That was supposed to eat a card. It was going to eat a blocker or a card out of his hand. There was no reason not to swing with hit. And oh, he, oh, everyone's saying it's Nimbus. That's why. He Nimbus may be the leader attack? Is that what happened? Oh, well, there's a Nimbus in the grave, so it makes sense. But then how the Topo gets stopped? Thank you, guys. But how the Topo gets stopped, then? Uh, he Master Roshi. Oh. He Master Roshi, so that was the final attack. Where's makes the, sense. Oh, I see. It's down here. That's why. Okay. Yeah, because when he swung with the leader, he yep. must have been this. Thank you, guys. Is it, see, is it so easy to miss this stuff? Yeah. Everybody, like, it's so hard. I'm yeah. telling you. Because you're trying to keep track of so much stuff. Because it's so oh, interesting. Okay, cool. And it was Mira. It was Mira and the Bardock. That's what he got off the hit. Mira. I told you it was fast. It was flashy. Yeah. Mira obviously can be devastating. <laughs> Lightning fast hit, man. Is that a possibility? No. That's something you sideboard in? Nah, not in this matchup. You side it in against control matchups like uh, Mono Blue. Sure. Blue, 
Uh, blue green's questionable because it has too much popping ability with Piccolo and stuff, but a mono blue matchup probably is the only one I can think of. You can play it. Sure. Yeah. But the thing is, everyone knows to play with only three life. Sure. If you go down from three life, you're almost pretty much like game from double double strike and stuff. So right. you really need to know how to play. But three life is the three life is harder than four life. Okay. That, that's that's just the truth. I agree. Um, reason why, just a little knowledge for people, because when three life happens, you can't swing with double strikes uh, effectively. Because if you give them two cards, they're now at one. The way to do it from four life, you have to get them down to two life. You have to swing double strike there. Once you get them to three life, that third life is the hardest life to get because you have <laughs> to is. commit so much for them to agree, all right, I'll take this life and now be accessible to double strikes. Three life is a, a nightmare. Okay, here's 15k. Try to knock the flame to three life here. Now it's going to be important to see where he takes his life if he takes it. But look, he, he did take a life. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry, Ian did. He goes to two. And he took the piccolo. Dude, but how? Who does Who does that? Like, who picks life like that? I want to look at his sleeves, man. I'm not saying he's cheating, but, like, I question some stuff. All right, there's a pick up from Zach. Going to draw a card. Unbreakable. Take a card. Gohan comes into play. Right no problem. Take your time. Good play by Zach. Going up to th uh, up 30k to be able to stop that attack. It's still 4 to 2. Yeah, I'm playing Bardock here. Or swapping out Bardock, I'm sorry. Looks like. To swing with Goten. You back? I'm always back, man. <laughs> I've been back all my life. Four to two. That's a big deal. Man, Zach does have the ability to lightning fast hit next turn. If he does this, it's professional. <laughs> and everyone will go, ah! But I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it happening. Yeah, I don't see it happening either. But it is pre cyborg, so I mean, it's possible that he does cyborg it. I mean, I don't. See, and thank God that card said when it evolves. Imagine if it says when played. What card? Uh, like um, the hit that they were talking about. Oh right my about? gosh. <laughs> we will see real real decks. Red would be a control deck.
He hasn't played lightning ha fast hit yet? Nope. Still uh, Eon's turn. God, and see, that's another thing, too. Like, what we're talking about old Dragon Ball Z. Back then, you played gold tanks. You one tap two more. All right, you play another guard. Two cards, you play the turn. That's huge. Now, what they're doing now, I'm watching you play the whole time. Man, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. I, I, I like people going back and forth playing stuff. Not one person playing everything. And that board is disgusting. Oh, my God. There's a lot there. Ed, there's there's a lot, there. lot there. If Zeno is not it, my God. Now, that's important here. Is Zach take, decide, has to take this hit. It's going to be important to see what two cards Zach takes. He can get the Zeno, which would be his way out of this, possibly. Or if he goes left to right, he might actually miss it. Oh, he's, he's actually, swinging for game. Yeah. Well, he's swinging to knock him from four to two. Yeah. And then going to evolve this for a game, maybe. Yeah, no. That's why. That's such a, a huge play this deck has. Let's see that famous Jacko. <laughs> a book from Brandon. Brandon. Rip, he's in the background. It's like a force ghost. <laughs> like. Jacko. May the Jacko be with oh, you. Took man. it the wrong way. The Misses one. the Zeno. He got a super combo and a negate, though. Misses he got a negate, though. Yeah, got a negate and a super combo. And the negate was clutches. Clutch. I didn't even curse, but it was clutch. Yep, there it is. Still has a Zeno and an energy. Two to two. No, that negate was huge. The fact that, huge. like, actually, it was much better that he went the right way. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. agree. Because now he's out of turns. That, that double strike was supposed to be everything. That negate gave it to him. I am afraid, though, that Zach, without that Zeno, unless he gets one off the top, that's no, possible. He's at two life. That's it. Now, now we're going in. He no. has a hand, but we can go in. I believe. Let's watch this hit being played. You think it's just going to be lightning fast hit right here? No, no. It's not lightning, but we're going to see a hit come down right now. To check his hand, see what I can do, and all right, we're going for game. we got to see how much we can combo out of him. Does have two. The problem is here he has two, he has two hits, but if he plays the hit, he has no way to. What's up, what's up? No way to what? Well, if he plays the hit, he has no way to extend the combo, right? He can only go up so far. He can right? only go so far. Right. It's true, it's true. But you, you got to do it. Right, right. Yeah, I'm not saying – yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you there. And he also has negate in hand, too, which is a dead card. So one oh, of his he has negate? Who has yeah. negate in hand? Uh, Zach. And he didn't charge it? Why did he charge the hit? He's not going for game? He's wilding. There's no way he's surviving this next onslaught. Well, I will say – maybe it's not a negate. It's may not I'm, a negate. It can't okay. be. May I'm, right here, is this not Vados's? No, no, it's not Are you sure this yeah, is yeah, Vados right no, here? No, no, that's, that's, that's the card. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Thanks, either. Peter. <laughs> awesome analysis. <laughs> that's, that's a card. That's a card. Cool. That's a card. <laughs> that was a cassette tape for a second. <laughs> Shuffled it his mixtape. Oh, there is. Mama, hold my hand. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right, all right. He got rid of the 5K. Not bad. Now he has to play the hit to see. This is all part of a plan. He has one more swing. It has to be the double strike, too. What do you mean, brother? Yeah. yeah he's in the top pickle. He knows it. Okay, he's attacking for 15k. This is the second out of his third attack he can do. No, no, he's attacking a McNugget just to draw. I call anything small McNuggets. Okay. <laughs> draw something. What is he going to get? He could pray it's a bean. What if it's a Zeno? Does that get him out of this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? If he gets <laughs> Zeno would be very helpful. That was a chain attack trunks as well. Another play he can do is dig for the, the last uh, Zeno. He can dig for the last Zeno. What's he going to use to dig, you think? Huh? What's he going to use to dig, you think? What? What, Ooh, what do you know? No, it's not good. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? What do you mean, brother? And this is, has to be the one that swings. Uh, a McNugget? Yeah, I guess because it's a plus card. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Eon taking his time here saying Did he draw a card for Yeah he did. He did? He yeah did? he did he untapped in it in it in it. We, we or not untapped in it, I'm sorry. He, but he drew a card for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The hand looks small though, man. It looks small. I mean, I think there's more cards in the field than there is in Zach's hand right now. Which is a scary place to be. Eon doesn't have to worry about... Eon doesn't have to worry nothing. He yeah. won. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he doesn't have to worry about uh, Nimbus or anything like that. So he can kind of attack freely, see where he wants to go. My guess is he'll attack with these Gotens and Leader. Maybe Gotens first. Dig a little bit, see what he can find, and then go from there. Oh, did he draw? Did he not draw? I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, how can we check? Well, we could. We it, could. I, I maybe roll back the stream, I guess, and see. But guys, on on the commentary, do you guys know if he drew? Yeah. Did he draw? I mean, what is it? Did what someone answer this? It's over. Yeah, we know. But so the winner of this, the champ, because he's gonna quit anyways. He drew. He. They, they say he drew. Yes. Oh wait, no. The same person said yes. Another person said drew. Yes. Say you guys are true. We're trusting you guys, all right? You're going to make me look bad, though. This was 100% me trusting you. What does he do? I mean, how would you resolve this if there wasn't a stream? Oh, then, yeah, you drew. Anytime someone's asked, hey, did I draw? Yes. The answer is always yes. Because if you say no, what if they did draw and draw two cards? The answer is always yes. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, but what if this isn't on stream? How do you resolve it, that no, as a judge? No, what I'm saying. Like, oh, oh, as a judge? I'm not a judge, but well, I'm yeah. saying common sense. If you have the question... Hey, did I draw? Yes. Because the fact that you're asking me, I can't guarantee that you didn't. But I get I get screwed over more if you. Huh? No, no. It's just he doesn't know if he drew. That's all. But what what do you mean something else? No, no it's just he was questioning from the the way things happen. But um, yeah. Anytime your opponent asks, hey, did I do this? Yes. Because if you say no, what if he did do it and you let him do it again? So what if he drew? And you say, oh, I don't think you did. Oh, he drew again. He drew two on you. The answer is always yes. What's commentary say? Uh, we'll take a look. You won. He started chat is wild tonight. Oh, uh, man, I don't know. And we'll see how they decide to deal with it here. Yeah, it's one of those. Are you sure I drew? Maybe I should draw. Yeah, it's it's one of those. Like, if you ever have to question, hey, did I draw? Dude, the answer's going to be yeah. Yeah, and that's going to be up to the head judge as far as what he decides. If, if they want to look back on the stream, that's up to the head judge. It's not up to me. Um, I, I didn't see. I was watching chat. You know, usually during the uh, beginning of the turn procedures is when we kind of yeah we lay you know, back a little right, bit. We, let's we see what he's about yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's that's my fault. I'll take the responsibility. But um, as far as re using stream or anything like that, that's always up to the head judge or tournament organizer. It's not up to me. Okay, all right, guys. So we're gonna mute the mic here real quick, and we're going to uh, to take a look and see if if, uh, if he drew a card. Um, so just give me a second; it shouldn't take too long, um, and we'll see what happens. Also, any questions? Feel free to ask them on. Um, uh, feel free to ask the questions. We're right here, so we can we can answer answer those questions when we get back.
All right, guys, we are back. Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a delay. Uh, we went and watched it a couple of times just to make sure. And what happened was is um, Eon went to draw, didn't draw, untapped all of his board first. And I think because his board was so big, he wasn't sure if he did it or not. So he asked the judge. It turns out he didn't draw. And so we are... Uh, go back continue. down. That thing sounded hilarious. Something about how much Anthony Hernandez looked. Go back up. Oh. No, it's gone already. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So just making sure there's no. Do you think future sets will move us away from SS3 here? I hope so. It's hard to tell, but I hope so. Yeah, time extension. Anytime there's something like that, guys, both players get a time extension, and it's it's taken care of. Yeah, again, guys, that's up to the um, head judge and the TO. So, I mean, I, I, I don't, I can't speak on that. Uh, it's not, it's not, um, it's not unheard of. We've done it quite a few times in different events, and uh, you know, different organizations have done it. So, you know, my, my opinion on it is different than I'm sure a lot of you. This is 20, 30, 40, 50K into Vegito. Okay, so Eon's going to remove, and it's going to play Mira. My guess with Champa in hand, which is going to be his way to go for game here. He plays Topo. which is okay. Eon has multiple other chances to draw into some stuff he might need with these three Goten. See what Eon decides to do here. Has three cards in hand. Does have a Chompa in hand, though. So he can decide to kind of all in here if that's what he wants to do. Yes, Eddie, this is uh, this is table one, sir. Yes, sir. So here he's going to look at the top three again. Choose a card, put it to the bottom. Nice. <laughs> nice to have you, Eddie. Always good to have you here, my man. Here, Eon going up pretty high here. It's going up to 15, 20, 30, 40, 45. Attention, Dragon Ball Super. 
super players, that is time of the round. Please enter end of match procedure. If you need help with end of match procedure, it's please 15. raise your hand and call for a judge. Again, Dragon Ball super players, so 20, that is time 30, of the 40, round. 55. So 55K, that's 25, and that's game. Didn't draw it there, Eon taking it 2-0. Congratulations to Mr. Eon Hill for another extremely convincing win. Going undefeated yet again in two events. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Tell you what, it's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. Thank you so much. Nothing compared to what the super players had to deal with in uh, California, so I definitely don't want to complain. And it's definitely a treat and a pleasure and a blessing to be here in front of you guys. Uh, it really, 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 really means a lot.